Volkswagen is f***ed. Factory shutdowns, mass protests, sales going down as well. Is there a looming crisis over in Germany, Dad, for one of the stalwart legacy automakers? It certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Oh, my God, yes. It is unbelievable what's going on. This, this could be the first of many dominoes in regards to Volkswagen's future. Um, all right, let's dig into the shocking truth, Pops. What the heck is going on there? Is it all Dieselgate related, or is there new things happening now? They, they Well, I think... Ultimately, when you look back at it, you could blame Dieselgate. And the reason I say that is Volkswagen says they need to save $11.1 billion in, in cutting expenses over the next year. Now, you know, the reality is Dieselgate only cost them, I don't know, $33.3 billion. Had they played that fairly and not gotten themselves caught, they wouldn't be in a position today where suddenly they need to find $11.1 billion in savings. And, and that threat of needing to find those savings is the threat of closing down one of the manufacturing facilities in Germany, um, which was well, against the agreements that they have with their labor unions there. So we've got issues that are obviously tying back to the Dieselgate days, but it's also we have to slow down production because, well, our cars are not selling as well as we'd like them to. And there's an angle here as well, Dad, of electrification. I mean, there is a huge push in Europe and here in the United States, and Volkswagen has been a part of that, to get to electric vehicles. Yet we know sales of electric vehicles for brands like Volkswagen have not been nearly as strong as they would have liked. That's also influencing some of the decisions that they're having to make around their, you know, union or their uh, the, you, their unionized labor, excuse me, which is not that dissimilar from what's happening in the United States with brands like Stellantis. We just did a video about how they're screwed. They're actually reneging on some of the things that they said they were going to do here with the UAW. So. You know, you look at these long-standing automakers that have these unions that do their labor, and then they have sales that are just not particularly strong. And then in Volkswagen's case, you also top on, you know, put on top of that Dieselgate and all the expenses related to that. No wonder they're in a bad situation right now. And and what it indicates, at least according to the article, is they have falling profit margins. Their profit margins down to, I think, 2.4% down from what was 3.8%. That is a huge decline in, in, in profit margin. They are Their sales are down in their biggest market, which is China, okay? So they're struggling in China suddenly, and the Chinese are bringing more and more affordable EVs into Europe itself, which is, well, cutting down on what Volkswagen can sell because China is their major competitor suddenly. So, so they've got declining profit margins, declining sales, um, issues at home with, with their workforce, um, non-productive uh, capacities at their, at their facilities. This is, I'm telling you, this is one of the biggest automobile manufacturers in the world, and they might not be here for long. They're missing out on half a million vehicle sales annually is what their global executives have said. And, Dad, you talk about operating margin or profit. This is a story that we're starting to see across a variety of long-standing brands in automotive. Earlier, you said Domino to fall. I think you're right. You remember Nissan? 99% of Nissan's global operating profit was evaporated year over year for their most recent quarter because they had to spend so much money in incentives to get people to purchase their vehicles. You know, we haven't seen Volkswagen's profit go down 99%, but a pretty precipitous drop is what you mentioned. And it probably will go down even more because as they produce vehicles, you know, until they can get these factories shut down, which obviously is not a good look for them, those vehicles need to go somewhere. The dealers are going to be sitting on them. And just like our Stellantis video we talked about, someone has to pay up eventually. And that's typically the automaker because they're the ones that are offering the 0% financing or the sales incentives to their, uh, to their dealers or to their agents over in Europe. So it's a slippery slope here for the entire industry. And I agree with your sentiment of like dominoes falling. It's, it's kind of hard to look at the landscape and not think, think, okay, some of these companies might not be around a couple years from now because you can't sustain this in perpetuity. Uh, you know, this, this insane push to electrification where 
it was like a herd mentality for all these manufacturers saying, we've got to be all electric by 2030 and misreading the market as to what the public was willing to do um, has has cost every one of these manufacturers dearly. And, you know, if, if Volkswagen is having these issues in Germany and in China, well, guess what? They're going to have those same issues here in the United States. And if they can't, they can't afford to have failures in Europe, China, and the United States and still stay in business. It, it, it does become, at a certain point, unsustainable. It's and, existential. You know, the it's certainly an existential threat. Oh, absolutely. And the question is, when exactly do we reach that tipping point? And uh, and then what's the what's the eventual outcome when we do? Probably some really good car prices on some VWs. That being said, I've got one tidbit for you. Didn't see this coming. When I was just in Austria, I spent a week in Austria. I was doing an Ironman competition. It was really cool. I actually met a gentleman, Dad, who is a Volkswagen engineer. He's an engine engineer for diesel engines, and it was fascinating talking to him. And I got to, I went on a hike with him and, and learned a lot about the work that he does. What was super fascinating was actually his commentary around electrification. Bear in mind, he's a diesel engine engineer. So like he's very pro diesel. <laughs> but he said the push in Germany, the push in Austria, the push, push in, in Europe has been so much towards electrification. And the consumers there don't want it. They don't want the price points. They don't want the powertrain. And it's fascinating to hear that from someone in Europe because here in the United States, that's the message that I've heard time and time again is we're not ready for it. It's too expensive. The government's pushing it on us. I didn't think that was the case in Europe. Talking to a VW engine engineer, hearing the same exact story over there. So I agree with you. I think I think some of the strategic decisions have been missteps. And what happens on the other side of it, sad to see that we're going to have a bunch of layoffs, plant closures, layoffs, things like that. But it'll be interesting to see what happens on the other side. I wonder, especially in Europe, if the German government's going to get like more and more involved. That'll be, that's a whole... That's a topic for a different YouTube channel, but it'll be curious. I'll be curious to see if that's the outcome here. Is the government getting more involved in having to like bail them out to a degree? It, well, you know, when you're one of the largest employers in in the country, uh, because they employ over three hundred thousand workers in Germany, um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the government steps in. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we see um, consolidation within the automobile industry itself and some of these. Some of these legacy manufacturers and some of these huge manufacturers get taken get taken over by, I don't know, perhaps some EV startup companies that have proven to be successful. Um, and You saying Tesla is going to buy Volkswagen? Uh, I don't know about Tesla, but maybe BYD when you have the Chinese government backing it. Um, so. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see, man. It feels like the auto industry is in this moment of shakeup and definitely what's happening in Germany with VW is something that we'll keep our eyes on. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the future and perhaps the demise of some manufacturers.